Whitney.com. I'm standing here with the publicist Jessica LaBeouf, and she's going to tell us all about what you can expect this year at Cirque du Soleil's OVO right here at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. Welcome, Jessica. Thanks for having us. Yeah, I'm excited to have you here today. So talk to us about the show. What can people expect this year? Well, it's Cirque du Soleil. So it's hard to expect the unexpected, but we bring everything. As you can see, we're putting it together now. We bring 20 trucks of equipment to build the world of OVO. Actually, you won't even recognize your famous hall when we're done with it. We transform it into uh, the world uh, of a colony of insects. Yeah, yes. what's up with that? We bring you all sorts of bugs uh, that will do uh, feats that will defy gravity, just wow you. We have a live band of cockroaches that will also <laughs> really entertain you. So we bring everything. But there's no real bugs in here though, right? Well, no, no. We actually, <laughs> we actually uh, rely on wardrobe uh, and makeup only to transform the performers into, uh, into the, the bugs. And it's really amazing, the tricks that they do. And sometimes you just have to stop and think about that they're, ha they're actually human. Yeah, exactly, I mean, I saw some of them perform briefly and I'm like, wow, they look like bugs. Like they actually are moving just like the bug would move. Now, how many different Cirque franchises are there? I mean, there's different types of shows, correct? That's correct, there's 19 different shows uh, around the world. Some are residents, some are theater, uh, some are under the big top and some are just like OVO uh, here under arenas. The one thing that you really have to, uh, to remember is that there's only one OVO and it's only playing in Atlantic City this week. So every show is different, absolutely. I'm not a bug person, but it's pretty cool. I think it's really awesome. I think we'll change your mind about bugs. And Cirque has been coming to Atlantic City for 10 years now, uh, and then OVO is the fifth show coming, and it's completely different from anything we've brought you before. So make sure you don't miss it. We are actually on the stage in Historic Boardwalk Hall, and I'm with Sheldon. He's the production manager for Cirque du Soleil OVO. And as you can see behind me, they are actually putting together the set right now. And this stage that we're standing on is actually their back backstage, which is where they practice and do everything that they need to do. Sheldon, this is so cool. Thank you for coming to Atlantic City. Yeah. Now, tell, tell us about the technical aspect of this. I mean, this is like very intricate. Well, right now you're looking at uh, basically looking from the backstage forward. So you're seeing actually the area that nobody else sees okay. typically. So this whole thing here is the backstage area. This is the uh, jungle gym truss. Okay. So this actually lives backstage. Wow. And this is something that they train on before they ever go out front of the front of the wall. The wall is this big thing here oh, okay. that's separating us from seeing the rest of the stage. Oh, yeah, so this is kind of the world behind the world. That's really cool. What are some fun stories that you have behind the scenes with the cast? Oh, well, fun stories. Oh, I don't know. Can I say those on yeah, television? Please. I'm not so sure about that. Let's talk about them. I like uh, you know what one of my favorite things is, is, uh, is the Everything that we do backstage, it seems really crazy. It's become kind of complacent and commonplace. And uh, I'm taking a tour back uh, stage with me. And the contortionist on one of the shows is wrapped up in a ball, but she's wrapped up in reverse. So her feet are tucked under her arms, and they're both beside each other doing push-ups in unison. And their bodies are only maybe this large. Yes, so I walk that? past, and I realized about uh, a minute later, I look back, and I've lost the whole team. And they're just standing there watching them in awe, and I didn't even notice them.